some of my favorite places to play are um, poorer countries or countries that don't get to see Western music very often because often enough uh, those people react to the music more intensely. The, the appreciation and the excitement level is much higher. Like when we've been to India and Israel and uh, we played in Bali, in, in places such as those, they, they go off. It makes it feel like it's more of an epic concert rather than going through the motions. Peak for us so far has been playing the Super Bowl at halftime. That was when I kind of realized, whoa, this is bigger than I ever imagined and I can't believe I get to play drums in front of this many people. It's pretty awesome, especially with my friends that you know I'm in a band with. Playing the Super Bowl was the most intense performance that I've experienced because it's one thing to have 80,000 people watching you, but when you know 800 million people are watching you, it's, it's, it's different. My overseas travels haven't really influenced my playing that much, but what has influenced it in different ways is uh, the band Bow Wow Wow. Playing with them, um, I had to learn how to play a Burundi style, which is a mix between Latin and African mu uh, drumming styles. And uh, that was totally different than what I was used to. And uh, I'm really glad that I was taught and learned how to play the Burundi style drumming. It's pretty, it's pretty awesome. In the past, I've used live, I've used, a, I've used triggers to trigger sounds that we made in the studio that were manipulated you know, through pedals that weren't just standard acoustic drum sounds. So far on this new record, I've gotten more into using electronic drum sets and mixing them in with, with acoustic kits. The companies have make, made better electronic kits and they've made it easier to, to utilize them in, in rock situations. What I like about most about the electronic kits is the array of drum sounds and the options. You know, at the touch of a finger, you know, you could pull up a million different sounds instantly and come up with something that's different without laboring over hours and hours. I still bring 30 snare drums to the studio anyway. They're fun to look at even if I don't play them all. <laughs> all right, so you see my drum pad over at my house. And uh, now we're here with recording studios. This is the Bomb Shelter Studios in downtown LA, owned by Eric Kretz, who's a awesome, awesome drummer. And um, we've started the early stages of the next No Doubt record. And um, behind me is one of the kits that I'm using on this recording. Basically, we're here at this stage in the game, coming up with more new songs. Um, we have existing songs that we're gonna be recording also in these next couple weeks here. For example, today, we just wrote this song yesterday and recorded it last night, and we're doing some overdubs today. And maybe tomorrow we'll start with an, an existing song that we've already written in the past six months or so. I have a few different kits set up in the studio here, but uh, this is the main one I'm using. Uh, this is an Orange County bass drum. Uh, it's 24 by 20, I believe, and it's pretty, pretty, pretty big. Um, these toms are old Camco toms from the 60s, uh, and they sound wonderful as well. And then this snare drum here is an Orange County hybrid. It's part acrylic, and then in the center here it's wood. Of course, all Zildjian cymbals. One day I was thumbing through one of the drum publications and I saw this, um, this little ad for this thing called the Trash Cat, which is this drum right here. And so I contacted the, the guy's number and uh, he sent one out and I've been recording with it in multiple sessions. And uh, it's, it's a pretty stylized tone. It's, it, it's almost timpani-like. But I also use it sometimes just for big hits along with the floor tom where it and it, and it, it just sounds really big. Um, I've also used it for Bow Wow Wow, you know, for the... Because I got a lot of Burundi stuff going on and it sounds really cool with the, those particular Bow Wow Wow beats. The most exciting part probably for me in the recording process is when the drums are done and, and, and we're overdubbing other instruments and I'm sitting in the control room listening. Yeah, I get more excited when there's other instruments going along with the drums. The vibe here is pretty awesome. And it's such a big drum room. The, the, the drum tones are awesome in here. So at the same time, I could pretty much record anywhere if I have to. I mean, I have, I've been in kitchens, I've been in my own basement. 
as long as the songs are good, it's that's what really makes it easy. Baby, baby.